Let's head back out to the main hall. I believe we have one more area to check. Actually, no, there should be two because we've got to check out the Dawn Guard specific areas. Now oh, the ninja's out here. Okay. Alright, I believe this is the one we have yet. Ah, random lag. I believe this is the one we have yet to take a look at. And then I guess we just have to find one of the Dawn Guard retreat teleporters. I don't know if this is long enough to constitute more than one episode. Usually I try doing player-owned homes in one episode, but I don't know. I like the walkthrough aspect of it. So maybe we'll go two videos, depending on how long this is. Especially since it's in my janky version of 720p. Skyrim, would you like to load, please? That would be fantastic if you could load for me. Don't make me spin the Easter egg. All right, it's Easter egg time. Easter egg of doom. No, I won't get rid of this thing. I don't care. This is pretty much June by now. Oh, hello. Let's see what's going on in here. The staircase going down. Oh, man. What is, what is my Skyrim doing? What are you doing, Skyrim? I know what you're doing. This could double as a training hall, it seems. Okay, so there's my Dawn Guard retreat. And here's some more Dragonborn notes. Let's take a quick look at these. Let's see, I don't even know where to begin. This armory has too much in it for me to waste time writing down. Enchanting alchemy, a complete forge, and storage. Heimolka's powers was obviously tremendous. I can only imagine the full potential of his power that he used on Vodmedine of his armory as the result of it being bound to this cavern. Alright, so maybe we weren't intended to kill the dragons as easily as we did. Oh, what is this? Holy crap, look at this. This is amazing. This is so scenic, too! I love it! It's too bad I don't really use arcane enchantments and stuff. I really need to, because I'm still freaking fragile over here. And store soul gems and more soul gems. This is... This is neat. What is this from? I know what this is from. I've seen it in other mods before. I think. Maybe it's something different, or maybe it's a different color. I can't tell walk right out. I don't remember what that's from. Let's check over here next. And let's see. Ooh. We'll get the old refrigerator. Store our food. Like the effect on the fridge there. It almost seems more like a freezer, but that's okay. I don't know. This is... This is looking like top contender for player-owned homes I've seen thus far. Alright, Cleon, what are we doing here, buddy? Are you gonna just drop dead or something? <laughs> Please drop dead. I hate you, Cleon. I still hate you, Cleon. Don't make me TCL. Come on. Don't make me TCL. You're gonna make me TCL, aren't you? What's the hurry? Come on, recharge. Recharge, dang it. There we go. Oh, sure. He moves out of the way. What a troll, man. He freaking moves out of the way as soon as it's done charging. What the heck? Got stuck on something. Is that an invisible wall? That's weird. Why is there an invisible wall here? That is very strange placement for an invisible wall. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Helmets. More storage. Okay. Makes sense, this is the, the forge, it seems. What's going on over here? Man, this place just keeps going. Taking a page out of the High Roth Guard. Oh, wow. This is, this is high-class storage here, man. This is good stuff. I don't recognize some of these things, though. Dawn Breaker? I'm wondering if that's from Dawn Guard. Okay, so these are various blades. Ooh. Wabajack. <laughs> what? The? I've never even heard of that one. Marin's Razor. Oh, I don't... I must have put it away. Okay. Spellbreaker. That one's familiar to me. These are all really great designs. Okay, there's a teleporter out there. Oh, wait, I skipped the door. Hold on, let's go back. Okay, I skipped quite a few, actually. Oh, wow. 
Okay, so what's this one? Oh no, this is the way back. Never mind. Okay, which makes sense because there's nothing there. Let's check out this way first. Wow! Holy crap! You know, I usually don't like doing this, like just you know, upping the mod the whole way through. But, but I mean, really, look at this. This is this is really great stuff. <laughs> That's what you deserve, Madikin. That's what you deserve. Ooh, that blue. Oh, hey, it's her. I think I've got Nightingale armor. No, I don't. Oh, wait, yeah. Okay, never mind. I, I know what I did wrong. Oh, this just goes to the other side. Spoils. Interesting. Just random chests for stuff, I guess. Okay. See, this accounts for, like, every possible adventure you could have, while at the same time, it captures the uniqueness of that particular storyline. Those eyes were a bit creepy when I jumped up there. Ah, wow. That's really neat. This one is by far my favorite, just because I love the blue. Okay. Let's make our way over here now. See what else we can find. Yeah, we're not even done yet. I already highly recommend this. These are all really interesting touches. Walk down and store your stabs on the way there. Also, uh, the compa it's companion friendly. You know, that's a major selling point for me because I like to run around with my major, you know, my, all my random uh, companions. <laughs> English, good job. Archmage. Archmage Steve. The Staff of Magnus. I think I still have that, don't I? No, I don't. I stored it somewhere. Well, man, now I can actually put this stuff where it can, like, be easily kept track of instead of me, like, lobbing it all in uh, Whiterun and having to scramble through chests and not know what I'm doing. This was a really great idea. Ancient Towers? No, not Ancient Towers. What was? What is it called in this game? Leveler's Tower. Leveler's Tower has some good storage like this as well, but... You know, this, these guys, they went out of their way for all this, all these amazing details, the atmosphere and the art. That's why I'm giving the major props for this. In case you haven't gotten that yet, I'm giving the major props for the mod. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Got some wall chests. And honestly, it's also like, it's, it's versatile in that you can kind of pick your, your surrounding. Because you're not forced to just... It's not only a dwarven thing going on here. They've, they've got different styles all over the place. So you're able to pick your decorations even if you don't want to use them all. Like here's a nature-esque one. Oh no. The doggy died. Oh no. Ew. <laughs> Stupid thing. Let's see, what, what? What did that say? Oh, I thought that, I thought that said old goat. And I'm like, what? Old gods, though. Okay. Woof. Fantastic. I have no idea where my companion I think I got trapped downstairs, but whatever. They're lost. <laughs> okay, this, there's actually... Oh, this goes straight to the Dawn Guard Retreat. Well, let's go ahead and check out the Dawn Guard Retreat, then. Might as well while we're here. I know we still have more to explore in the Armory, the Forge area. Well, while I'm here, might as well. See how... Far off track I can get. Wow, what is this? I'm getting a Temple of Time vibe from this. Did they follow? Yeah, the important ones did. Oh, I am being summoned to do something. I shall be right back. Alright, we're back. And what I'm interested to see is what this Dawn Guard thing brings us. Because so far, you know, the, the presentation of the place... Hold on. To fix my mic. The presentation of the place is good. The story is pretty... In is pretty entertaining and our storage is fine but that's really the only gimmick thus far is the storage I kind of want to see if there's something else we can do with this thing here though this is impressive so let's see here what's going on ancient Falmer Ooh, hey ancient Falmer crown I don't know if these are I don't know off the top of my head if... Whoops. 
Ooh, I didn't want to take that off. <laughs> Let's go ahead and reload the autosave. I was just checking to see if it was a vanilla item, but I couldn't really tell just from that information. So here comes another video where we've got a thousand people going, Ah! See the customer, it's not Team G's man. Now, what, what's going on here? I'm not crazy. I thought I was seeing some, like, weird black bars or something. I don't know. Hey, heavy Falmer, some Falmer stuff. Wow. Whoa, goodies behind the water. Yes, goodies behind the waterfall. That's a sight. That's a good sight, isn't it? Come on, there's always got to be goodies behind the waterfall. Oh, another Elder Scroll slot. Do we get an Elder Scroll in Dawn Guard? I actually don't know. I'll be in here. Boy, no. Okay. Even something for the bad guys in here. Although, I guess it depends on your interpretation as to whether the vampires are actually evil or not. I guess you're supposed to assume they are. But I'm sure there's some kind of twist in Dawn Guard that... I don't know. Well, maybe. Like I said, don't know about that, so... Oh, that's weird. Staircase was a little unfriendly there. Let's see, though. Go ahead and close up the Falmer Shrine and head back up to the main area. One recommendation I guess I would have is to maybe move this just a tad out. Because it's like when you walk in, that's pretty much your only choice unless you kind of step to the side here. Like it works, you can just step, step to the side. It's just an, I don't know, kind of goofy logic there. Well, let's see here what else we've got. Dawn card? Dawn card. My god. Really? Holy crap. How many Elder Scrolls do we were we supposed to get? Or are you like... I don't know how Dawn Guard goes. Maybe you pick one of the two? I don't know. I kind of want those, though. I like having the Elder Scrolls. I feel like Zelos Phoenix would be the one who would want to collect those things. <laughs> I mean, crap. We left Kajido in charge of the one in Oblivion. Okay, so that was the Dawn Guard area. It actually didn't have as much as I had figured. However, there's more to come. Because I'm, I've, there are still a couple things I remember seeing in screenshots that we have not yet run into. So I'm looking forward to seeing where those are. One thing in particular I really, really want to see. I'd also like to see the continuation of the game here, Skyrim. So whenever you are ready... Any day now. You know what, I probably will have to make this more than one part, because 720p is not friendly with long videos, and... What the heck? These freaking mannequins, man! What? The jank? I'm, I've got my eye on you, mannequin! You get out of here! <gasps> I don't want any of that sorcery. Okay, let's hop over here now. Wow, it's a whole different area. Jeez. Oh, hey, look at this. This is cool. That's not cool. No. Is there a hidden... Uh... No. Okay. Oof. That looked like it would have been a good spot for, like, a hidden panel or something. What? What happened here? That's weird. Huh. Is that a loading error, or...? Where is everybody? I think I hear them, I just don't see them. Whoa, there's Selmina. Selmina's here, that's the only one that matters. Oh, Captain Blue made it, unfortunately. That's okay. Okay, let's see here. Dragonborn stuff. So, more storage. Oh, hey, we can store the, uh, the nine masks here. I think there's nine. Yeah. No, there's ten. That's right. We get the tenth one by having the other nine. Which I still haven't completed that collection yet. That's like the one collection I did really want to complete for Kazudo. I never got around to it, though. Okay, more yet. Let's see. Some more nature stuff. Stormcloak. Okay. We'll just go ahead and burn that room. Nah, I'm just kidding. I was going to say, it would have been a neat touch if they had the Imperials right across, and you know what? They do. So fantastic. 
Is this it? No, it's not. Dang. Wait, yes it is. Is it? Oh, dang. It's not what I thought then. I actually, that was a storage thing. So I could I could have actually already had that sword. I think this is it. You know what? Let me vanish really quick and take a look at a screenshot I saw. Ah, man, that whole time I was looking at an amazing screenshot of a sword on this thing, and it was Chill Rend all along. I don't have Chill Rend, though. So I kind of ironically missed out on one of the things I was very eager to see. That's okay, though. Now I know I just have to go find Chill Rend. We didn't get that in the LP, did we? I don't remember getting Chill Rend in the LP. Okay, so these are all legendary, like, artifact things. Man, I have barely any of these. I did a lot of adventuring, too. I guess I didn't do enough adventuring. Skyrim, what are you doing? 10 FPS? What the heck? Hmm. I don't know what Skyrim is doing. Actually, I think I know. Yeah, it's just that there's a whole bunch of crap in this direction. That's okay. <laughs> Hopefully when we get a bit more centered, it'll not lag as much. Okay. Well, dang, I set myself up there, but that's okay. I just have to go find Chillrend and plop it in there. Plop. Okay, Dawn Guard Retreat. I want to go back to the library, but crap, I forget which one it is. Let's go for this one. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, I guessed it correctly. Okay. I don't think they're gonna... Oh, they did. Okay. Well, cool. So, yeah, very companion-friendly. Okay, so I, I think I've shown you enough of the Forgotten Mountain Keep. That seems to be the gist of it. So, really, I don't know. I I would say the only thing it really suffers from is that ain't, is that uh, Leveler's Tower has more features. But at the same time, you know, standalone mod, this is virtually flawless. There's a lot going on here. It is mostly storage. However, like I said, because it is companion-friendly... It's very organized, and the lore, the story is exciting. There's just really neat details. Like, again, this whole one-way glass thing is a really great touch. I just... There's just great scenic stuff. So this is definitely on my recommendations list. This might actually have to match my my top three player-owned homes for Skyrim. I don't even think I have three yet. It would be Leveler's Tower. This now definitely has to be one of them. This is like mirroring Oblivion, pretty much. I had Ancient Towers and Frostcrag there. And now I've got the Forgotten Mountain Keep and Leveler's Tower. So fantastic. This was uploaded originally, I think, July of 2012. So it's, it's actually been around for quite some time. I just never saw it. The Dawnguard area seems to be pretty neat. I don't know if they're going to add one for Dragonborn, or if they did add one for Dragonborn. Really, I just kind of looked at this version, saw some screenshots, and I was like, you know what, I want this. And so I went ahead and got it. And I'm glad I did, because... Like I said, if I can ever get into that skit territory, this would be something that definitely works. Like I said, it can pretty, it can pretty much be the Frostcrag of this game. It would be my Frostcrag. There's not... It doesn't seem to be any, uh guest bedroom. I might have missed one somewhere. So if you want to roleplay with companions, I don't know for sure if you can legitimately. Uh, however, like I said, it, it may just be that I missed a wall somewhere or something. I'm going to have to look at the features list again and double check everything that was offered here. Otherwise, it's got all your typical stuff. It has the alchemy, it is forging. Pretty much whatever you would expect from a typical player-owned home, and it just does it in a very elegant and vibrant fashion. So that's mainly why I enjoy the Forgotten Mountain Keep. It's only one or two awkward things. Like that, uh, that random invisible wall. I don't know what was up with that. Here's kind of another one. It, this one's not much of a bother, though, because it's not directly in your path or anything. But yeah, go ahead and pick this up. I don't know what I'm giving this, like a 9 or 9.5 out of 10 or something. But yeah, that is the Forgotten Mountain Keep. I hope you guys had some fun with this, and I hope someone decides to pick up the mod, because this does look like a great mod. I'll see you guys next time for more Team UDF Gaming. Thanks for watching, everyone. Boy!